I'm back. I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, let's dive in there. So Gary and I stopped over at Dollar Tree because we've heard there's a lot of changes going on. This is Robbie from Southern California. So there it is, everything is still $1.25, I should say, most of the stuff. And they have a huge garden selection still holding at $1.25. Now I found some really interesting things. Isn't that cute? I had to buy it. It's just a shopping bag, but it's got hummingbirds. They still have shovels for $1.25, which is always good to have because I'm misplacing them everywhere. I wish they had red handles. And they're getting in their seasonal items. And I really like those placemats you saw on my shopping cart. And now they do have 3 to $5. Now, in the front of my Dollar Tree, they put all the $1.25 items. So it's different types of flower pots. Some hang. Some are just for sitting. They've got the stones that they make that you can sit around. I should say decor. Different small flower pots. If you were starting seeds or just wanted something for a windowsill. All different things. All this that you're looking at here is still $1.25. Now, I'm wondering if they're working out a planogram because the entire store was changed. And all these things, including their new flagpoles that they've got there, mine hadn't had these long ones, only the hooks. And I did pick up a few of these and their flags, they're $1.25. They are keeping that in a separate area. They've moved it to a new area. So now I have to get used to the store again. Now I didn't have a lot of time to spend in there like I usually do. Now they do have containers and I'm working on a few different hummingbird bird baths and projects. So I'm gonna get a couple of those. Though those are very thin. I'll let you know to put water in. But they moved this too, so I really have to spend like an hour or two. And having Gary, he had gone to Harbor Freight and he wanted to go home with his tools, that he was just kind of roaming and looking as I was investigating. Now, here is something I was excited to find, the sun shades for the car. And this is going to be a big thing for the garden this year. Now, they've got all this moved again to a whole different section. And this entire section at my store was $1.25. I wanted to make sure they didn't raise the price because it was more money at the 99 cents. Or there it is. Now, this is new. They put a scanner in the store. So if you have any questions, you can walk over and scan the item as long as there's a barcode on there. Now, this is the more expensive aisle for gardening supplies. As you can see here, Solar lights are $3. Now they've got these stools or stands. I don't know if they're for flower pots or to sit on, but I pulled one out and looked at them and they're kind of really lightweight and wobbly. Doesn't say how much weight you can put on them, so I wouldn't sit on those. And really nice flower pots to grow in, heavy plastic. They got nice hats and that's great for the garden. And they've got a lot of solar lights. They're gonna bring in more because they have the ability to raise the price up to $5 right now. So this is just you can kind of see with me, because I was in shock. I had not seen this. In, in a matter of two days, they changed the whole store. All the new decor they had. And I really do have to make a good slow trip through the whole thing. Now, wait a minute. They got in totes. Now, that's interesting. They're small. They're not going to be the 18 gallon. These are 10 gallon. But let me tell you something. You can grow in a 10 gallon tote. A squash, tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, watermelon. You can grow anything in a 10-gallon tote. Though they're about half the size, because I use the 18-gallon ones, and they're made here in the USA, that's a really nice tote. And I see they have two sizes, and noticing the price, both prices are the same on the small or the big. So if you have room for bigger, you go bigger. But if you don't, or you're just going to use it for composting or something else, Keep that in mind. And then they have a lot of new clear containers, perfect for storing things in. You can see what's in there or making mini greenhouses for seedlings or plant cuttings. This is all new and I'm fascinated with it. Look at the little one is five and the big one is five. Now it is an American company, USA company, which is really good. And their website said they use high quality plastic. I just can't find the number on it. Because normally I look for that number, which is one, two, four, or five. Because the number three, plastic, could mean it came from, let's say, bottles of automotive oil. It could be herbicides. It could be toxic glue. It could be anything toxic. And that's why I want to know what type of plastic they use to recycle. I think I'm going to make some calls and see if I can find out. 
walking by again, I really do like those stands or stools. I like the colors. They came in really nice, you know, teal and kind of a off-white or beige or gray and black. But the thing is, the legs are so wobbly. I, I wouldn't want to sit on it. Maybe it's just made for a plant stand, but the top was kind of bulged on some of them and it wasn't really flat, so I'm not sure. Now maybe that's what they're supposed to be. And here they've got really cute solar lights. Look at that, all different animals, their eyes light up, which is cute at night after they get charged up by the sun. Now a Frisbee, we can use that on the top if we wanted to make a water fountain, keep that in mind. And Frisbees, I don't worry about them because they've got any toxic plastic, being it's for kids, they're supposed to label it. So that would be really good. Also, they can be used for bird feeders as well, but they've got a lot of different things. Remember, you can grow in buckets too. And that's what I did. Went to Dollar Tree. I picked up a few things. Ask me what, you know, questions on what you want to see. Check out your Dollar Tree because I think they're all going through a big change right now. They're trying to save the store and I hope they do great because we've already lost the 99 cents or let's hope they make it. With that, have a wonderful day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I'm back. So I am going to go ahead and try one of these totes. I called the company. They don't know why there's no number on it. It is not recycled plastic. It is fresh polymer, which is okay. They said that they do sell other products that are okay for growing, including vegetables, tomatoes, and stuff. It smells good. I have told you in the past that if it's no good, the plastic, then you can usually smell it. It might smell oily. It might have a chemical smell. A lot of times, especially automotive trays and stuff, you'll smell them, they're new in the store, and you kind of smell it and it doesn't smell right, almost smells like something you opened up a container and you've got a, a whiff of something in there. These don't have any smell. Now, though these are only 10 gallons, and I get the ones from Walmart that are Sterlite, you can get them from Target as well, for about $7, and they still have them. Sometimes they're not online. Go into the store and ask if they can get them. They're also gray, $7, those are 19 gallons. Now these are 10, but you can do a lot with 10. It doesn't have to be that big. You can grow a zucchini in that. You can grow tomatoes. There's all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to get one. I'm going to plant it up. I'll put it on my deck so you can keep an eye on it. I'll start with one. You can even just simply compost in there and then take out and plant, put it in other pots if you're growing it and do it that way. So let's get one. Let's see how it goes. I want to see how the plastic is. We'll make holes in it. No matter what, we're gonna get drainage. And I'm just happy to see that they've got totes. And it doesn't matter on the size. They've got two different sizes. They're both $5. So we're gonna go with the bigger one. But you may want some small one for a little worm farm or, or just a compost den. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna grab one. I'm excited about this to see how that works for $5. Think about it. A bucket is $5. That's five gallons. For $5, you're getting 10 gallons of growing space. So let's see how the soil and everything does in the next few weeks if, if the sides don't push, but I think it's gonna be really good. Okay, let's dive in there. Okay, let's get this thing home and plant it. This is really cheap and it should be a great raised bed garden. And don't forget, if you wanted to go with the smaller tote size, that's still perfect to grow a lot of plants in. I'm taking these home. I am making a bird bath. And these bowls are so cool. So let's get the tote home and let's get it planted. And I'll let you know in the next week or two what I think, because I think it's going to be fabulous. Okay, I'm fixated on these bowls because you should see the fountain I made with these. We'll be back with the tote soon. Huh, I just thought of something, which I've done before. I can make a bird bath out of a five gallon one. Oh, are we gonna do things with these totes? All right, I better cut this before I just keep on talking. Bye-bye and don't forget to eat what you grow again. Take care and happy gardening.